Hello everyone, it's from Back to Do Your Bonus Read. I've got to mention on the What's Cracking, I think I sort of alluded to it, but I just want to mention that I'm going live with uh, Linda, who's the psychic pinup tonight on her channel. Um, so if you'd like to come over and watch, I'll post the link for you a little bit later. Um, we're doing a platform event in uh, June, so very excited about sort of moving in a new direction. Um, and she invited me to come along and do that with her and I'm so thrilled. So we're going to talk about that tonight if you're interested. So I will post it on um, the Facebook page as well. So if you're not a Facebook, an Aussie Goddess Facebook page follower, tongue twister, um, come on over and join my Facebook page. Um, I think we have a live Facebook Facebook event uh, in 29th of May I think I'm going live so if you're interested in uh, coming across and getting a live reading I don't get to everybody but I do try to get to as many people as possible okay let's have a look what's going on in your bonus read oh, don't forget I'm at the mind body spirit festival for the four days this week Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday very excited about that very excited about doing something very different I've done a lot of fairs but not quite one this week so it's a little bit a little bit uh, no it's not intimidating it's not scary it's a, it's very exciting but it's also a little I want to say a bit overwhelming the thought of it all right so we've had the eight of cups and the two of pentacles jumping out with the high priestess how lovely all right some of you are making some sort of decision here to walk away from something you may have been tossing this up for a very long time now it doesn't necessarily have to be a relationship it could be a job it could be a situation but you're making some sort of moves here i want to say i feel like you're in planning stage so you may be planning something you may be tossing up how I think you've made the decision with the eight of cups I think the decision's been made but I feel like you're trying to work out how to implement that king of swords coming through for some of you you may be putting divorce on the table um, you could be leaving someone who's very cold very controlling I want to say maybe karmic energy coming through here the decision's been made though there's no going back you know you've made the decision but there's this energy of maybe trying to work out how to implement or how to put it into action that's all it's like the logistics of it all right let's see what's going on for you here all right five of pentacles well that makes a whole lot of sense going on that now i do want to say that the high priestess came out too so you really are trusting you really are trusting where you're being led which is beautiful because sometimes we end up in very negative situations and we know in our gut that it's the wrong place to be we know in our gut but we get manipulated by others or we start to believe um, the untruths that we're taught like we have to stay we have to do this we have to do that um, and I feel here that you are trusting your gut, you're trusting your intuition. The Five of Pentacles is a card that talks about feeling left out in the cold. But for me, I look at this in line with those cards jumping out, and I feel like here there's been a, it's been a long time. You may have been dealing with this for a very long time, and I feel that you feel empty, and you feel that if you don't move now you're going to have nothing left to give. And that's where I feel like you're up to. So for me, this means that you've put in a lot of work, a lot of effort, and it sort of got to a point where you can't maintain that anymore. You're drained. There's no energy left with this yet. Okay, so this is really beautiful because what you're seeing here is that complete change of energy. It's like you're moving away from something knowing that no matter where you go, it's going to be better than where you are. So you're really focused on the prize here. The Sun card, beautiful card, best card in the deck. It talks about love, joy, happiness. It doesn't matter even if this card is reversed. It's always going to be positive. It's about having your eye on the prize and going for something. 
we have a lot of Leo energy here. So you could be somebody I'm dealing with here who've got very strong Leo in your chart here. Um, so the strength card talks about taming the inner beast, taming the inner demons, really understand. So you've done a lot of work here. There's a very uh, the energy of the magician here, understanding your power. I posted something on um, my pages this morning which talked about being the victim and not seeing the magician within because we do get very stuck in the negatives more so than the positives which is crazy it's human nature it's ego we tend to sort of get bogged down with the sad stuff and i say to people when i'm working with them every time you have that sad energy every time that sad thought hits you spin it around until in the end you can't help but naturally going to the positive because if you're always spinning a negative story, that is the story you're leading. And you end up getting stuck in these situations and unable to move. So I feel that you've been taming something here. The Seven of Wands is here. Look at this energy. This is the energy that you're showing up in. This is like feeling like you fought, you fought, you fought, and you just not got out of it. The Nine of Wands is that wounded warrior. This is a cycle you've been in here. So you could have been in a situation, a relationship or something, job, whatever it is, where you've gone round and round. You fought, you fought, you fought, and you've gone nowhere. All you've done is repeat some sort of pattern where you've constantly got hurt and disappointed. And then we have the fool. So you are taking a leap of faith here. You're trusting your intuition. There we go. You've been, you're taking on the energy of the King of Pentacles here. So you are starting to really become very grounded, starting to understand your potential, and you're taking a leap of faith here. But what I love the most is that you are trusting your intuition to lead you in a direction that you need to go in. You're no longer relying on just your resources, let's say that. All right, look at this, end of a negative cycle. The Ten of Swords. It's funny because it's such an ugly card, but whenever I see it, there's this feeling that it's it's the end. It's done. It's finished. This is like constantly having the knives in your back, constant betrayal, constant sadness. This also could be spiteful communication, cutting words. Something here you've been enduring for a very long time and it's now time to heal. And I want to say, take note of the sun up in the corner. All right, let's see where we're going with this. Oh, gone dark. That's all right, at least you can see the cards that way. All right, so the Eight of Cups came out in that when I was shuffling. We have the Moon card coming through with the Temperance card. How beautiful. So you've brought things into balance here. I feel here with this moon card, it's like you've you've maybe realized a lot of stuff about yourself during this time. You've done a lot of healing, but internal healing. This isn't healing in the situation you're in. It's got nothing to do with that. It's you digging deep. So say, for example, this was a job and these things were going wrong all the time. Instead of focusing on all the things that have gone wrong in your job, you've focused on your reactions, how you've worked with that energy, how you've healed that energy, how you see that energy. That's what you've been doing. So in this process, not only are you shedding or walking away from something that has created this great deal of pain for you, you've healed yourself in the process because you've brought yourself into this beautiful balance here. The Temperance card is such a beautiful card. And I want to say, guess what's in the corner again? Look, I don't know if I can tap my screen. It always makes me nervous to tap it just in case it goes too bright. But you can see the sun again. So it's almost like we're getting this sort of reminder here that the sun is on the other side of what you're going through. Look. So it's like keep your, keep your focus on the sun because you've done with the moon energy. You've worked your way through that energy. You're ready to face whatever, you, you've strengthened yourself in the process here. So you're ready to face whatever comes your way. All right, so we have the Five of Swords coming through. That card came through when I was flipping, when I was shuffling with the Two of Cups. I 
I feel like you've learned a lot from this situation. I feel that what you've learned from this situa situation is really advanced you as a person. So you've taken all the lessons you needed to learn. I see you walking away from something, but I see you planning how you're going to move forward here. And there is the energy of the Five of Swords where it's not the easiest thing to do. Walking away from something that you've put a lot of time and energy into is not the easiest thing to do because we question the work we've put in. But then we think things are going to change. So we put more work in to try and get them to change. And when they don't change, we put more work in until we're totally exhausted. And really, we've gone nowhere. It would be so good to see it at the beginning and know that it just wasn't worth your time. But for some reason, we keep pushing. We keep pushing at it, trying to make it better. It just doesn't work. If only you knew that after you'd done it the first time. But I feel here that you are exhausted. You're done. You don't want to deal with this anymore. I want to know why the Two of Cups is there, but we'll get there. We have the Hanged Man coming through. The Two of Wands coming through. And the Death card. We do have some repeat cards from the What's Cracking reading. There's at least four here. There is a real strong energy here with these major arcanas. If I look at the major arcanas, the temperance, the hanged man and death, they say to me things can never go back to the way they were. Because, and the moon, because you've, you've changed inside. This isn't just changing your external environment. Your, your external environment needs to be changed because you realize here that you have value. You are believing in yourself. You are seeing something beautiful. And again, with this sun here, you're seeing something about yourself here that you've not seen before. There's this beautiful belief, this beautiful energy of knowing yourself so well now. And I feel that this situation, as much as it's been negative for you, has really shown you yourself. You've seen yourself. You've mirrored yourself. But the Two of Cups has come out in this reading again. And I need to understand why it's showing its face. Because you have made such huge changes here. I have Scorpio, Pisces, Sagittarius energy here. Pisces, Cancer, there is an ending, but the ending's just the beginning for you, because it's, I don't even, I can't even explain the energy here, it's like winning the lottery when you've got the last dollar in your pocket, it's like being rescued when you thought nobody would come, and you've done it for yourself here. You've rescued yourself. Let's just pull some more cards. All right, so I have you feel, I think you were at your lowest point. There you go. Last dollar in your pocket, lottery win. <laughs> That's what it feels like. I feel you that in this process, you have strengthened yourself so greatly that the, pro, that the, the problem, the issue, the situation is so irrelevant here because you have done so much healing within yourself. I feel that you're, you fought, you fought long and hard. You've been through some really dreadful, tragic times here with these cards. But now you're willing to take this leap of faith. You're trusting your intuition now and standing in the energy of an earth sign. So being practical, looking at your way out, you're no longer getting immersed in your emotions. You're understanding how to effectively work through this energy i see that with the two of pentacles this is very much this head over heart energy why is the two of cups here maybe some of you are working your way towards new love or working your way towards a love situation maybe you're finding your way out of an, a relationship or a a marriage or a situation where you're fighting towards new love here. Oh, wow. Okay. Three of Cups. That pretty much says it all. Queen of Wands. 
right? Some of you have found the strength here to leave a relationship. I feel that you have new love here or love waiting. So the Three of Cups for me is always third party, always. The Queen of Wands, you may have walked away from a Leo, Sag or Aries. And I feel that you've found the strength here to move towards something that you feel is better for you. Some of you have the promise of something coming through. Look at this. Now, I love this deck for this reason, the Cosmic Tarot. It has on the Queen of Swords two people in the window here. And then we have the Emperor. So I feel like some of you may be moving towards a chosen one. I feel like this is a chosen one. But I feel like for others here, you're stepping into your power. Maybe you've been betrayed in your relationship. But you're stepping into your power here. Beautiful reading. All right, let's pull up Quantum Oracle. I need to do... Oh, behind a mask. And there you go. You've come out from behind your mask there. That makes a whole lot of sense. Hiccups. Three. Intention. Oh, straight to it too. Choosing self-acceptance. A woman wears an elegant mask that covers the top half of her face. It hides her identity beautifully. Even her friends won't be able to recognise her. This card reveals an important conflict in your intentions. You have times when your view of yourself is so depleted, you believe you must hide who you are and pretend to be someone you're not. This gets you into a whole lot of mental messes. You compare yourself to others, always competing and often losing in your own mind. Your perfectionism can create performance anxiety and cause you to worry about what others think. Worst of all, this ongoing current of self-judgment becomes a raging energetic river that pushes your goals away. It's absolutely impossible to attract your real desires if you never allow yourself to be the real you. This card is telling you that you can and must shed this false condemnation of yourself. No matter how deep this pattern is, your value comes from your eternal truth, not from others' input. So choose to relax and let the mask go. Open up to spirit's light within and around you and be yourself. When you accept yourself as you are, no matter what anyone else may think, you will feel completely liberated, perhaps for the first time in your life. What a beautiful card to get on that reading. So perfectly attuned to the reading. Have a wonderful day.